Now, quick update on how the uh, BRVM uh, traded on Wednesday. Closed trading at 217.14 points. That's down 0.3%. Meanwhile, the All Share Index, which is also the BRVM Composite, lost 0.33%. Uh, and now to give us an update on uh, trading today, I have uh, Elaine Saraka. He's an AVP at Credit Risk Management for uh, company AFC. Elaine, it's great to have you on the show. I think we should start. Uh, first of all, give us an update on today's trading. Uh, yeah, good evening. Uh, actually, the BRVM is, uh, is uh, better today than yesterday. Yeah, the, the trend is actually on the upward. Mm. Uh, yesterday was uh, a little bit difficult, you know. Uh, the, 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 the industry sector was going down, you know, because of uh, SITAB, one of the, the industry uh, sector companies uh, listed on the BRVM mainly. So okay. today we expect to have a positive uh, uh, trend at the close. Now, uh, earnings, earnings results from two companies uh, in the consumer space came through yesterday. We had Unilever Q1 uh, net revenue down 24%. Uh, now, we hear the decrease is mainly due to the highly competitive business environment. However, profit after tax did go up 51.2% compared to the uh, previous year. So your thoughts on the company's results? Well, I, I, I think that the, the biggest issues of companies like Unilever is that you know, the African market is uh, overwhelmed by uh, Asian products where the cost of production are lower. And, uh, you know, the problem uh, is for Unilever is to find a way to diversify a little bit uh, its product. The, 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 only, the, the, the problem is also that the, this kind of uh, uh, manufacturing industry is not is not a very technical, so the, ba the entry barrier are very low. So in, you see the competition is, is, for this reason, very high from products coming from Asia, for instance. And uh, it's, 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 it's very difficult to adjust to the price of, of, of those products, which sometimes uh, come illegally in the, in the African countries. Uh, the, 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 the things for companies like Unilever, if, uh, if they really want to adjust to the price of those uh, products imported for China, the, the profitability will, will be uh, strongly impacted, like uh, we, we, we can see the, the, the sales coming down, coming down progressively like we see now with Unilever. I really think that they, 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 they should try to, ex, to, ex, to expand a little bit and gain markets outside mm -hmm. the the Côte d'Ivoire, for instance, in the neighbor countries where they potentially have less competition or, or lower competi competition. Uh, the, the, the fact is, uh, uh, you know, to have access to this market is not something very easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the, 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 I, I, I suppose that maybe those products coming from Asia will uh, overwhelm the market too. So I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a strategy uh, analysis to, to strategy and commercial analysis uh, that uh, Unilever need to do and, uh, you know, see what, what, what kind of uh, added value she can have on, 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 on this product and, uh, you know, gain, gain new markets and uh, mm. improve its profitability. Let's look at uh, the way the market reacted to uh, the results. We saw uh, that stock trading at 40,005. CFA francs uh, uh, yesterday. Now, um, now, no, no, sorry, on Tuesday, uh, yesterday there was no activity. So, give us an update on uh, whether there was any reaction to the results today. No, as you know, the BFM, the quotation on the BFM is not continuous, so mm -hmm. it's difficult to have an update uh, before the before closing the bell. Yeah. So, <laughs> at, at this time. Uh, it, 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 it seems that uh, the, the stock is not, uh, is not attacked or anything. It, it's rather flat. So let's say at the end of the, 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 at the, end of COP, when the, 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 the BFM will close, what will be the, 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 the position of this, of this stock? Yeah. Now, very, very quickly, uh, talk us through what's going on in the agriculture sector. Uh, the, uh, that sector was leading gains uh, up... Uh, 6.61 uh, yesterday, and I think uh, to today as well, it's gone up 1.9%. Uh, is this the sector that you would be advising a new investor looking into your market to tap into? Yeah, I, actually, I think that a lot of investors are considering that, you know, the, the, the agriculture stocks 
uh, went down uh, the, 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 past, the past recent weeks. And uh, it may be the, the, the time to invest in those, in, in those stocks because uh, we expect that they will, they, they, they will recover very soon. You know, we all know that agriculture is a very strategic sector in, in, in whole West Africa, and especially in a country like Cote d'Ivoire. So we don't think that on the long run, you know, we will have a continuous uh, a decline of uh, the agricultural stock. Even if we need to 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 to, to do a separate uh, analysis for depending on the commodities that are uh, that, that 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 are contemplated, but I think roughly uh, uh, overall that you know it should it, they should recover very soon, and I think this is what the the, the investors are. are, are I expect mm. him to.